So we need to keep this fight up. And Republicans, and I, as you know, I get criticized by the press because I'm not, I'm not partisan enough, okay? Well, this is not your father's Republican Party, as I said. They continue to attack the Affordable Care Act and want to eliminate it. They're unrelenting. Multiple court challenges, sir, the sabotage from previous administration, over 70 attempts to repeal the law by Republicans in Congress, 70 times. In fact, just last month, Republican Senator John, excuse me, Ron Johnson from Wisconsin said, if the Republicans get back in power and take back the House and the Senate, they should repeal the Affordable Care Act again. Twelve years later, Republicans still haven't stopped their attacks on this life-saving law. So, pay close attention. If they have their way, it means 100 million Americans with pre-existing conditions will once again be denied health, be denied health coverage. Not hyperbole, it's a fact. Will be denied health care coverage by their insurance companies. That's what the law was before Obamacare. In addition, tens of millions of Americans could lose their coverage, including young people, who will no longer be able to be covered by their parents' plans up to age 26. Premiums are going to go through the roof. So there's a lot at stake. Well, I've got a better idea. Instead of destroying the Affordable Care Act, let's keep building on it. Extend the American Rescue Plan subsidies that we've already passed, allowing premiums and expanded coverage, lower premiums, expanded coverage. Close the Medicaid coverage gap that locks nearly 4 million Americans out of coverage just because they're in states that refuse to expand Medicaid. And let's do something that will bring down prices, lower the cost of prescription drugs. Let me note parenthetically, the only thing that Medicare cannot negotiate with health care providers on are drugs. They can tell you that they're only going to pay X amount of money for doctor visits. Why am I on money for a particular operation, et cetera? But the only thing they can't negotiate are prescription drugs, except for one area. We insisted a long time ago that the department that relates to the military, you have a great guy running the Veterans Affairs now. Veterans Affairs can say, we're not going to pay you any more than X or Y for this particular drug. But you can't do that for anything else. Medicare can't do that anywhere else. In America, we pay the highest prescription drug cost of any developed nation in the world. That's a fact. It's about two and a half to three times higher than paid for the same exact drug, the same manufacturer in other countries. For example, the anti-cancer drug to treat leukemia and lymphoma costs $1,400 a month in the United States. Some of you may know that. The same exact drug, the same exact company, same distribution, costs $6,000, not $14,000, in France. Same company, American company. Same exact amount. It's unconscionable. Today, one in four Americans who need prescription drugs struggle to afford them. Nearly 30 percent of people needing essential drug doses that they're supposed to take, 30 percent skip their doses because they want to extend life of the drug that they need. Many people use over-the-counter drugs instead and cut pills in half because they can't afford them. There's others simply not fill their prescriptions at all. As I said, for God's sake, this is the United States of America. What are we doing? It's simply wrong, especially since it doesn't cost the drug companies nearly as much to make the drug or the research that went into it. There's a system they have in Germany and other countries that the drug company can charge the prices set when they, when they uh, in fact, try to bring the drug on market. It's like in our case, the FDA approved it. And the way it works is they go, how much did you invest to come up with the drug? How much did you put in? And they allow a healthy profit of 10, 20, 30, 40 percent and say that's what you can sell it for in our country. Unless you invest more to improve the drug and show you put more into it. Otherwise, you can't go above the cost of inflation. Look, the incident we were talking about, 
You know how much it makes cost to make that vial of insulin? Ten dollars. <laughs>